What's up you guys and welcome back and welcome if you're new. In today's video, we're gonna be showing you guys some footage that I never actually posted because I did break my truck so I didn't end up finishing the video. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys. I'm gonna explain to you guys kind of what happened. Another thing you're probably gonna notice is the camera is a little bit different than what we usually record on. So this whole video is gonna be filmed on the GoPro. Let's go. Today's video, I'm right here at John Bull with a couple of my friends. So I'm gonna to try to get as much clips as I can for you guys. I know it's a little bit on the darker side, so hopefully that doesn't affect video quality today. But we do also have the man, the myth, the legend, the cameraman, he's right there. Are you ready? Oh yeah, let's do it. Hell yeah. So any kind words for the people that have never been here? What do you, what do you think, be honest to them, uh, seeing this in person? This is my first time, so I'm not really sure what to expect. I'm sure it's gonna probably be difficult since I have pretty small tires. So we'll see what happens. I'm gonna give it my best shot. So let's get it, let's get it. Damn. No, you're not going that way. Oh, you're, really? you're going this way. We're all going this way. <laughs> I'm going that way. <laughs> what do you mean? That's the cheating way. This is the way you want to go. Uh -huh. So I know on camera, you guys, you're not gonna be able to tell at all. If you've ever been here, you guys know, but you're not gonna be able to tell on camera, but these boulders are pretty big. It gets a little intense towards the top and uh, you do have a little big incline up top. So this is gonna be super fun. And once again, we do have a couple of our friends out here. Are you excited? Oh yeah, I'm excited. How do you feel? Very excited. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? What do you think for someone that's never been here? I haven't been here. Uh, well, it's gonna be fun. Hell yeah. It's gonna be fun. Yeah. You're okay, it's just skid. Straight, straight. How do you feel? So that's how you feel. It's gonna be okay. Keep in mind, you're on 33s. Yep. Most people won't even be down and do this on 33s, so. That's how you know you're a man. Hey, let's see what happens. El compa Eric, number one. Does it like nothing? Embarrasses everybody else? <laughs> Just like that. Give it a little gas. Right there. Yeah, there you go. Just like that. Ay, ay, ay. The chingo on his back. <laughs> oh, man. What was that? <laughs> I want to get a stick shift now. <laughs> what the heck did he hit? <laughs> he does it like nothing i'm embarrassed all right you guys so today we are in john bull and you're gonna see the tacoma's performing pretty well of course the suspension at this time was new now it's pretty old but in this video it was pretty new and i was just out there just testing it tacoma was doing good like i said but keep in mind later in this video, uh, I did end up breaking the truck and we're going to show everything. And I'm also going to kind of explain what happened and why it happened. Just so you guys don't have any questions. If you guys do, though, don't worry. Go ahead and comment it down below. Go ahead and hit me up. doesn't matter. But I'm going to show you guys just what happened. But yeah, this would have been my third time coming to this trail if I would have completed it. One thing I did want to say is uh, the first time I came here, I was super scared. I'm not going to lie, but I made it through like nothing. Second time I came, it's same thing. I mean, it, the truck did well. Um, I had smaller tires, I think, at the time, and I had different wheels and different suspension. And that time, I did everything good. Just towards the end, I ended up getting a flat tire because I didn't have bead locks. It kind of just popped out the air from the bead. Um, but besides that, I didn't get stuck or anything. It was pretty cool. I wish at that time I would have recorded that. And of course, once again, this would have been the third time, but we did not complete it. 
we did end up pulling over after I broke, which I'll show you guys in a bit. And we did end up kind of just eating. We, we grilled and just talked and kind of laughed about what had just happened. But I am going to show you guys, of course. And then at the end, I'll explain to you guys a little bit more on it. But let's go ahead and kind of just get back to the video and let you guys hear it. Yeah, go straight. Now back up. You want to climb up that rock or you want to go around? Yeah, back up a little more when you could. You're going to have to hug that wall. Huh? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, keep going. Yeah, keep going. Yeah. You under the rock, you're gonna have to go passenger a little bit. Yeah. Okay, stop, stop, stop. You wanna you wanna come this way, but be careful, you're close, you're close to the rock. Hold on. Okay, come forward. You're good, you're good, straight, straight, straight. What are you stuck on? You're stuck on something, but... You need to climb this rock. That's what we were trying to get right now. There you go. Right now I see what's happening. It's every last little bit. Yeah. Alright you guys, so right here you're going to see, we're going to end up breaking in a bit. Keep in mind it was 100% my fault. I had the front locker on and I tried turning the wheel real, real hard. And you're never supposed to do that when you have that front locker turned on, especially since I'm not upgraded. But check it out, you're going to hear it right now. And right there, we just snapped a tie rod. So it was that simple for it to break. If you ever have a front locker, don't force it like I did. What? Yeah. Stuck? Broke. His wheel won't turn. Look at his tires. <laughs> I think it was a tie rod. Shut yeah, the tie rod. Oh, it's Ben. Yeah, it's Ben doing. Yeah. Ben yeah. right now. All right, so really quick, I'm going to show you guys. So this is going to be the tie rods, of course. On that side, you're going to notice they're black. Those are the aftermarket ones, and then the ones on that side are the factory ones. So of course, I did know I had to upgrade them. I just was lazy and didn't have the money for it at the time. So down the road, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and change out the steering rack. And then we're going to upgrade these as well and probably get some high joint ones. So it's a lot stronger when we go off road. I know that can cause different issues. I know that, but at least it'll be in peace of mind that it's going to be stronger versus these little like noodles. Those things are super skinny and I'm surprised I haven't broken them any time sooner. But yeah, there it is. I do got to give a big shout out to Jerry, better known as Beast Fab, because he is the one that put this on that same day and kind of hooked me up and put everything together. Because without him, it would have been down for days. I'm not going to lie. But yeah, so that's done. Uh, these things are from AutoZone, so I don't trust them. I know they're going to probably either blow or break again. So that's why I was saying as well that I just need to upgrade this sooner than later. So of course, now that I showed you guys kind of what happened, for many years this never happened to me until now. So of course, later we'll go ahead and upgrade that and continue. Jesse. Feel free to subscribe